Close to 200 Tippecanoe County residents facing a rate hike that could double their wastewater bills came out in force tonight. The listeners included the government agencies who will ultimately determine what increase, if any, is appropriate. Ratepayers hope there's force in numbers as well as their arguments. Points, but some general concerns I have. The Harrison High School Auditorium turned into a courtroom Monday night, complete with an administrative law judge presiding. As News 18 has already reported, the issue a proposed $46 rate hike for most American suburban utility rate payers over the next three years, an increase of 97% over current monthly bills. It's more than any other sewage district anywhere close to here. Exorbitant already read, which is doubling. Retired homeowner Steve Arts was uh, one of nearly a dozen well, residents uh, sworn in to make a statement among the roughly 175 people who attended the public field hearing. I thought there is no hope for us if people don't come to this meeting in mass and express their concerns, and they did, and I was very pleased with that. I would say the turnout tonight was excellent. I would say the quality of the testimony from consumers was excellent. The Indian Office of Utility Consumer Counselor, or OUCC, is currently researching the ASU request and will make a recommendation in January to the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission, who will actually make the decision likely this summer. What it boils down to is making sure that the utility has the revenue stream that it needs to provide safe, reliable service, but that it's at a fair rate for consumers. Anthony Swinger says the recent trend for profits of investor-owned utilities is 9 to 10 percent. Testimony Monday night focused on why ASU had not saved more money from the last 15 years, why current customers are being asked to pay for an expansion above the IDEM mandates, why there is a flat rate for consumers not based on usage, and if it was legal that a development company owned by Scott Lodes, the owner of ASU, has done construction work for the utility without a bid process. That's something we have to look at. Um, affiliate relationships um, are an issue that we look at in any rate case with an investor-owned utility. But as with everything else Monday night, it's too early to get any answers. Do ordinary people have any chance? And my hope was tonight it would get their attention that there are people concerned. To see News 18's interview with ASU President Scott Lodes from last night, head over to WLFI.com. The OUCC is taking written testimony from residents until the end of the year, whether through mail, fax, email, or their website. We'll have all the information a little later tonight on our website.